Welcome back to another video. I'm Miss Kelly Travel Spiritually. Today I want to talk about the inner transformation that's happening within you right now. You have to look inwardly, lovely soul. Before I jump up into this video, I want to say if you clicked on this video, you are here for a reason. There are messages here for you. If you don't understand the message, just understand what is resonating to you as my words are speaking directly to your soul. You will feel this inside of your body. In time, clarity will come. But you have been guided, guided to this video for a reason. There our message is here for you. Before I jump up into it, lovely soul, I want to say always be mindful of your energy. You do everything with your energy. You only got a certain amount of energy a day, right? So be mindful of your energy. Don't burn out. Do your best not to burn out and make sure your gas don't run on E. That's the burnout. You feel me? So be mindful of your energy. Let's go ahead and jump up into it. So there's an inner transformation that's happening within you. A lot of times this is very confusing for a lot of souls as it was for me and it is for many of my clients that I work with. So if you actually struggle with understanding what is happening in the world within you and you're ready to bust through your issues and blocks and get out of your own way and you need some guidance and support with this, consider booking a 20 minute free consultation call with me that will be listed down below in the uh, description area. And from there, we'll see if you're fit for my program, you lovely soul. Let's talk about this inner transformation. What happens to us is happening inside of us. This is why many of us don't understand what we be feeling and why we be feeling it. Because it's all happening within us. Our mind, conscious mind, does not know what is going on inside of us. It doesn't know where we're going. It doesn't know what our heart actually knows. So I want to go back to the beginning on where this actually started. When you were a child, when we were kids, right? Everything that we experienced and saw, we created beliefs about ourselves at a very young age. And we started to thinking that we're the problem. So if mom and dad split up and dad moved out, you're going to think that you're the problem as a five-year-old child, three-year-old, five-year-old child. You're going to think that you did something wrong. Why dad leave? I did something wrong. And that doesn't mean to stay in these relationships just by the way to make sure I get that message across. I'm just speaking about you, the small, younger you, the child you, right? That child you. We make assumptions about ourselves at such a young age. We make beliefs about ourselves at such a young age. And these beliefs are ours to change. We carry them along with us all the way through as we grow up. And we still think that these things are happening. We still see them this way. So if you experience a toxic home and you experience what was bad in your life and today you keep seeing bad things happening to you, you may feel that you deserve those bad things to happen to you. You may feel like that's just who I am. Bad things always happen to me. And that's absolutely not true. You create these beliefs at such a young age and your beliefs are yours to change so that you can begin this inner transformation within you. You see, it all starts by going within ourselves and starting to understand our behaviors, our actions, like our reactions, why we feel the way we feel, what lies beneath, what started this, what did this all even come from? And it doesn't make sense to you in your present moment where you are today because it came from the past and it all started in the childhood and then we start connecting everything to that one feeling or, or situation that we experience. So the real work with, uh, with, uh, tran inner transformation, it begins with the mind, the heart, and the soul. It's like a ball of yarn, like envision like a ball of yarn. It's just a big old ball of yarn, right? That needs to be unraveled. It needs to be pulled apart and unraveled so the sun can shine, right? So that we can understand what it is that we are feeling, what it is that we are experiencing, what's going on. A lot of times people believe that they are experiencing things right here in the present moment, but it's actually happening from the past because you'll get caught. You'll notice you'll be in your mind about it, right? You'll be in your head about these things, but that energy is still like in your body. So you are feeling like you're living it right here, right now in this moment in time, which is the same message that's being sent out to the universe, which then still keeps manifesting into your reality, right? So that's why your beliefs are yours to change. And whatever you experience as a, as a young child, an innocent child, you didn't even know no better. 
And if you are, you creative souls out there, which is probably every single one of you that watch me, you creative souls. One thing that we do is we create a whole bunch of mess because we are so creative, right? So we may have all these negative thoughts, all these negative assumptions, all these negative beliefs about ourselves that we believe to be true because we created it a long time ago. And then as we continue to grow forward, we don't want that no more. We want to get rid of that, but we don't understand where did it even come from? But I want to tell you, your lovely soul, if you created all those negative things that created negative outcomes in your reality that you live in today, right? That's because that's how powerful you are. You are. That's how powerful you truly are. So you can actually go within, do this inner work, understand why you feel the way you feel, why you go through what you go through, why your behaviors are your behaviors and so much more. You can actually go within and do all this inner work and start to transform your life. This is absolutely a thing. And a lot of times when I work with my clients, all the time when I work with my clients, I have to get them to understand this is happening inside of them. The thoughts that they are experiencing in their mind is not the answer to the question. It's just the answer to how you feel it. But why do you feel this way? Where did it actually come from? Where did this even start at? That's why I say it's a ball of yarn that we got to start pulling. You be your investigator. You investigate. You got to start to investigate these things to actually understand where did it come from? Right. And this is why a lot of people don't know why they feel the way they feel. And that's why I like to speak about a lot of the uh, emotions are energy in motion. So tr inner transformation is within us. We really got to look inwardly to find out what's really going on inside of us. So that's the quick message that I have for you, lovely souls today. And I do want to leave you with an affirmation. Uh, if you are resonating with this message today. The real work of transformation begins in the mind, heart, and soul. And when I work to change myself internally, things in my environment automatically start to shift and reflect this new change within me. When I do the deeper inner work, the world becomes a reflection of my soul. So although it feels like you may be suffering and it's just a really big challenge because that's what it is. <laughs> it's just a really big challenge to really dive down deep within and pull out what is there that no longer serves you and release that energy out of your body so that you can begin to start to transform and create a whole new reality that reflects your soul, that reflects your world from within. So while doing this, don't connect, like, no, I don't say connect, but the reality that you're in right now, you do not have to identify with that reality. You live there, that's what it is, or whatever, whatnot. You see and you learn the lessons from it, all that, but don't let what you see out there stop you from keep working inside of here. In time, as you do the work, you'll notice that your reality will begin to change. So fall in love with the journey and be patient with yourself. Be patient with the process. Trust life. Trust divine timing to know that it's all working out for you and that it's all working in your favor. Although these feelings are real because our feelings are the most realest things that we actually have. And a lot of this hurts. A lot of times, like me, I staple shut, nailed, closed my whole childhood off. And I didn't understand how to express certain things that I experienced because I had it all shut off. And I had to know, I had to learn how to go in, back in to that area of my life to start to get some understanding on what I was experiencing at such a young age. Although it doesn't, it wasn't right for me as for like what I see, like, yeah, I mean, like you would think a child wasn't supposed to experience that from one form because of the pain that you carry inside of you. And when you begin to heal that pain and you turn all that pain to power, you start to realize that everything was happening for you. You are a very powerful soul. And many of you are breaking generational curses, breaking bloodline curses, right? So you've been going against the grain. You've been going against everything you ever uh, thought to believe from your family. So it's not an easy thing, but be proud of yourself because you're a courageous, bold soul who came here. You were chosen to come here to do this and you signed up for it. You agree with it, right? 
So there's lessons that come with it. The more you heal, you'll understand how to forgive those who hurt you. You'll understand why you created certain assumptions about yourself at such a young age. You'll start to understand these beliefs, what you've created within yourself at such a young age, where they came from, where did it start, what created these things that you may live with today that you struggle with breaking. You got to go back to the past. You have to heal your past in order to heal your future. And as you begin to heal, you forgive those who hurt you, right? Because you understand that it was all for you at the end of the day. That was that all of what you experienced was for you. You're so powerful that you can create so many things. Even if it was in a negative way, you can do it in a positive way as well because you're a creative soul. You are a genius. And us creative people, we create a whole bunch of stuff that we got to unravel, right? So I hope that truly helps you that message right there. So Please, I encourage you, forgive those who hurt you. Forgiveness is a gift that you give yourself, as Tony Robbins said, and it's so true, and I stick with that. Remember, forgiveness is a gift that you give yourself and that life is happening for you. It's not happening to you, and the universe is not making you suffer. The Most High God the universe is not making you suffer. Your life is not making you suffer. Resistance makes us suffer because we re resist change. We, we resist to open up to what the universe has for us because we want to hold on to all the pain. We want to hold on to what's familiar. We want to hold on to this even if it hurts us. If we fear something and we know it's not for us, we will still hold on to it because we're familiar to it. And I know it sounds a bit what it sounds like, but it's true because that's what the mind does. Whatever it has to do to keep you in a box, to keep you safe, it will do so. And it's like, that's what I mean by we be blocking our own way, lovely souls. So really understand that everything in your life is happening for you and everything in your life is responding to you. So allow this inner transformation to happen within you and unfold beautifully so that you can set yourself free, so that you can create inner peace within yourself. So if you've been questioning where does all this negative stuff come from in your life, in your mind, within yourself, these beliefs and all this, it's coming from your childhood, even the limitation. A lot of it's coming from your childhood. So heal your pain, heal your traumas, and allow this inner transformation to happen within you. It's not happening in your, like, well, how do I say it? You got to get into your body. You got to get into your body. You, you like, we, we're so mind dominant. We're so stuck in our heads and we try to look at everything logical. But we really got to get into our body to understand a lot of these things, to feel feel some things that we've shut closed things that I've suppressed so deeply in order for me to actually raise my vibration. I had to let go and I had to dig deeper within and understand those feelings that I never wanted to look at. So I know a lot of you, like, I ain't trying to look at none of that. That's the past is gone. I buried that stuff. I, 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 I ain't looking at that stuff. You have to look at those things. You have to go back and feel what you, what, what, what you need to feel so you can understand it and release it and let it go and get that energy out of your body. Lovely souls. This is also a powerful key of raising your vibration. Okay. I love each and every one of you. I hope this message was helpful for you. It's all happening to you. It's all happening for you, not to you, lovely souls. Share this video with anyone you want to share this video with. If you found messages here and this video is resonating with you, hit that like button, you beautiful soul. I greatly appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me know down below in the description, not the description, but the comments, how you feeling and how this message is resonating to you because it was definitely uh, come to me to speak about it. So let me know down below how this is resonating to you in your life. Share this video with anyone you want to share this video with. I know that it's a painful thing, but we got to feel what we suppress so that we can understand why we suppress it and why that emotion is there and what it even means so we can release it and let it go. If you keep coming back, watching my videos, consider subscribing to the channel. You lovely soul. By hitting that subscribe button and that bell. Open up your minds to the truth, lovely soul. Open up. It is okay to open up. Don't let life make you hard. It is okay. Vulnerability is a strength. It is okay. It is okay to go back and feel what needs to be felt so that it can be understood. I love each and every one of you. It's all happening for you. It's all happening for you. Come back to see me. Peace, love, and light to you.